We begin with breaking news tonight. Bullets hit an elementary school building in Hartford. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. The shooting happened just a short time ago at Sands Elementary School. News 8's Bob Wilson is live outside the school. And Bob, this all happened while students were there, right? Yeah, right about 2 o'clock this afternoon, shots rang out. This is the window to the gymnasium, and this wall goes all along the gymnasium. There's one bullet hole there at about head level. There are two more up higher. And take a look at the video. You can see uh, shots rang out about 2 o'clock. The school went immediately into a code red. A lot of the windows were open. Students heard the gunshots. There was a lot of people that were very concerned, especially teachers. They called that code red, and uh, that's when they locked down the school. It was in lockdown for about an hour. We want to make sure to point out there's a playground right next to here. And that playground, there were no children outside the school at the time, according to the school uh, spokesperson. And they said the students inside, though, were, were pretty shaken up when they heard the, the gunshots. My teacher, we having the window open, and we heard a big bang, and we all got scared. What did you do? We went to a little corner, and we stood there. We talked to several students who said that they were inside the library at the time, and they had to go and shelter underneath desks and in the corner there as well. I want to point out again, nobody was hurt. Shell casings were retrieved here from the scene. And we do have uh, Chief Foley from the Hartford Police Department has just pulled up. We're going to get a briefing here and bring you more up at 6 o'clock on exactly what happened. We heard the altercation could have been over a mini bike, two men out here fighting. And that's when the shots rang out. We'll get some confirmation for that coming up at 6 o'clock. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford News 8. Now, Bob, it's my understanding when you rolled up there a short time ago that a lot, some of the parents anyway had no clue anything was going on. Is that right? That is true, and we spoke to a lot of them. I did check with uh, Mr. Medina over at the Hartford uh, spokesperson for Hartford, and he says that it happened so they were still in it up until about 3 o'clock, and then the kids were released, so they didn't have much time to get out notification to the parents. However, they did put out a, he called it a robocall, where he went out immediately to the parents on their cell phones, their home numbers, letting them know what happened. There will be an email or a written word going out a little bit later on. But right now, they're still trying to just alert parents. We talked to a parent who was inside the school when it happened with her granddaughter, and we'll have that story for you at 6 as well.